Hey everyone, is today the day that Nintendo Switch Pro is unveiled? I don't know. But what I do know is we have some more uh, leaks, I guess, around it. Yeah, we're, we're going to call them leaks. Uh, because we had central leaks put out some stuff last night, and then some additional information come out today that might even suggest the pricing of this, let alone why it's being unveiled at this time. All right, so first off, let's get into the oldest of the news, uh, and that is something that was posted by Central Leaks about 12 hours ago. Central Leaks is well known to be one of the most popular Pokemon leaking accounts on Twitter, aka when it comes to Pokemon, they are one of the most trusted leak sources out there, over 100,000 followers. A lot of the stuff they post up ends up happening. Uh, so here's something they put up, and it says, we have received a verified screenshot from a big retailer's internal system that shows a new Switch hardware-related listing will go live on June 4th, around midnight. That's all we have for now. There's no other data or attributes in the listing right now. Then they go on to say, also worth noting that this specific listing is a non-US listing from a US retailer. Should give you a hint at what retailer it is. Why they can't just come out and say it's Walmart Canada? I don't know, but it's Walmart Canada. It's been independently verified that this did exist in their system. So there you go. There was no additional information. There was no pricing. Pricing was TBD. Uh, and uh, the, the name was just a generic kind of uh, dummy name. It had nothing to do with what you're actually going to call this thing. It's just what products that aren't announced typically have a, attached to them. So, okay, cool, whatever. That's just what is happening here. But things get uh, more interesting uh, when we go beyond all of this, and that is because Sam and Center was putting up some stuff today. Now, obviously, anything we talk about Sam and Center is essentially a... Uh, not you know not not a leak but a rumor but they linked to an interesting tweet that they responded to we're going to get to the original tweet because it comes from Ninten Alerts uh, Ninten Alerts is just you know just one of the another one of those accounts uh, they cover things that happen in Europe and what's interesting is uh, they discovered that the online retailer Bullinger actually has the Nintendo Switch Pro it's just being dubbed the Pro right now in their back-end database system at a listing of 399 euros. I find that to be very interesting, and here's some screenshots showing it. Uh, they do note that this is not visible on the site, so you will not be able to look it up. I do find it interesting that they were able to type in uh, one of the numbers uh, and find it on the site, but uh, I've, I've done the same thing. That number does not pop up, so I've tried to confirm this. Uh, it's, it, but they, as I said, the listing is in public, so how they're able to see this listing, I don't know. I don't know if this requires an employee account or whatever, uh, but definitely if you check out the, the code base, um, it does definitely hint at, um, at, at that being there. Uh, this is their uh, console, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, uh, I, we have seen Bullinger leaks like this before. This is what those leaks look like. Uh, so there you go. Uh, they're usually pretty accurate. Uh, so that gives you an idea of what it might cost anyways, or at least what they're expecting it to cost. Uh, and maybe it does keep the pro name. I have no idea. But Samus Hunter goes on to say some other things about it. Uh, so first off, uh, it puts up this uh, response to Nintendo Alert's tweet saying, and that's another point in favor of the theory I explained in the previous tweet. The idea of a postponed Pokemon Presents to make room for the announcement of the new model Switch those springboard for E3 plants is becoming more and more concrete. So she's assuming that Pokemon Presents might not happen before E3 or has been postponed or kicked back a week because of the Switch Pro announcement. Now, again, that's still not something she's saying is happening per se um, because Samus Hunter noted earlier that another Pokemon promotion uh, with Pokemon 25 capture contest some weeks ago said that in April I knew about a Pokemon Presents around this days. With the announcement of the game's launch dates last week and these promotions, it seems clear to me that something has changed from the original plans, probably to make way for something else. And so she speculates that, you know, Pokemon Presents isn't going to happen before E3 uh, because of the Switch Pro announcement. But again, this is all speculation. She doesn't know. And there's still time for a Pokemon Presents, by the way. It's not out of the realm of possibility. I think the uh, release dates for games coming out are more indicative of, it, uh, of there being some issues uh, with this potential... Um, Pokemon presents than anything, but uh, yeah, let's get into some other stuff she said. So I want to give a clear picture. I knew about this presentation two months ago. So talking about the, the Pokemon one uh, with the new Switch model reveal to happen after E3 in order to have reduced announcement and launch times 
avoiding cutting into the console's current excellent sales. It is likely, however, that third-party developers have pushed Nintendo in the past month to reevaluate the plans in order to present their titles in the best possible way. Nintendo has a policy of showing gameplay videos of video games that run on console hardware, no PC version. So when Nintendo uh, has a policy with third-party companies, essentially they have to show it running on Switch. They can't show dummy footage from a PC. So they can't misrepresent what the game's going to look like on Switch. It's a very good policy for Nintendo. We know that misrepresentations happen all the time. But if you're seeing a Switch trailer for a game, you're seeing it running on Switch. Now it says... Uh, they have changed to different plans in management of announcements. This is also the reasons why all of a sudden people started talking about it at the console because there was a change in plans and now bam, now everyone is talking about it behind the scenes. So again, this is not like the biggest confirmation in the world of anything. Sam and Center is obviously giving a lot of opinions here. But again, we have multiple retailer leaks at this point. One suggesting they're going to start taking pre-orders as of midnight on Friday. That's huge in and of itself. That means that you'll... I'll probably see this announced today or tomorrow, uh, maybe even tomorrow with, with, with three orders the next day. Another retailer saying, hey, look, not only is it in our system, uh, we also have a price point for it at 399 euros. Now, what's interesting about the 399 euros mark is that typically uh, the euros to USD match up in terms of not dollar value, but in terms of listing. So if it is uh, 200 and, you know, three, you know, $300, you know, 299 uh, for a switch, it will be 299 euros in Europe. I know it's unfair because the euro is worth more than the US dollar. So technically you're paying quote unquote more uh, in Europe and other countries at times for these platforms. That's just the way Nintendo does it. They don't, uh, they, they don't really tailor to specific markets and charge less. Um, that's just what they do. I mean, the euro is worth more. The pound is worth more. What's the Nintendo going to do? Uh, they could lower the price, but they typically don't. So, I don't know. I, I find all this to be very, very fascinating and interesting as we start to build up a pathway to a reveal that we're all waiting every single day at this point. So many insiders and leakers saying it's imminent. Yeah, Bloomberg originally telling us, hey, it's happening before E3. You have uh, Nate the Hate coming out definitively on his recent podcast and saying, I know this thing is going to be revealed before E3, would suggest that he knows someone making a game for it that is aware of the uh, you know, announcement plans coming up. Of course, he doesn't know the name of it. He did know it a few months ago. You heard the name Super Switch getting kicked around. It doesn't mean anything. He, he'll always say, here's what I've heard. Here's what I know. He seems to be very confident Switch Pro will be announced before E3. Uh, so honestly, when there is this much smoke, there is a lot of fire to associate with it. And I think that's the biggest takeaway out of all of this, including this new stuff from Central Leaks, from clearly Walmart Canada, another one uh, from that French retailer, uh, Boulanger, behind the scenes. I mean, guys, we're at this point now where it's almost undeniable that this system is imminently going to be announced. Uh, probably this week is what it's looking like. Uh, maybe it won't be till next week. I, you know, None of us know except what Nintendo's going to do and maybe some third parties working on games. Uh, it does seem that there is a, a rolling theory out there, not just from Samus Center, but even uh, from Bloomberg when they initially talked about this, that there is some pressure from third parties who want to show games here this month, that they want to show the Switch Pro versions of those games, uh, because maybe it just is that big of a deal. Maybe the Switch Pro has enough of a spec boost that it does matter uh, for them to show their games on it. Even if it's not shown at 4K, maybe they want to show good frame rates. They don't want to show a choppier game. Even if it is playable, it could be significantly better on Switch or maybe better resolution wise. And it's going to make the games just look crisper and better, especially with Nintendo's policy of needing to show it on actual hardware. So again, this is just at this point, I'll just some some leaked retailer stuff to back the stuff we've already heard from other people, uh, except for obviously potential uh, pre-order date and potential pricing. That's obviously coming from these retail leaks. But yeah, it is what it is. You guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. That's why this video is called a leak video because these are factually coming from retailers, uh, whereas other stuff, you know, you can talk about like Bloomberg or uh, Samus Hunter, you can call those kind of rumors. Uh, and we go into leak territory when it comes to things that, you know, are, are verifiable and, and, and able to come from, um, you know, sort of the, these listings exist, right? This listing exists as, uh, exists on Bullinger in France. Uh, the listing did exist at Walmart Canada. These are things that have been independently verified. They existed. So those are leaks from those retailers. 
We'll have to see what it all amounts to here. Hopefully soon. 24 hours? 48 hours? I don't know. But hopefully soon. All right, folks. I'm Nintendo from the Nintendo Prime. Man, oh man, oh man. Fumbling around here. We got uh, some cool videos, too. We got more videos coming, uh, including one that really, really interesting one that does deal with some Pokemon stuff that a bit shocking to hear it. And I'm wondering what it means. But uh, we'll get into that in our next video. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.